Good evening and welcome to Metro Focus. I'm Jenna Flanagan. Over the last eight years, the Cuomo administration has invested over a billion dollars in an effort to revitalize the upstate economy and reverse decades of economic decline. At the center of that massive investment is the city of Buffalo, which the governor has reimagined as a tech hub and engine of economic growth for the entire region. Has that investment been worth it? Are Buffalo and other cities in western and upstate New York about to make a comeback? City and State Senior Editor Ben Adler recently traveled to Buffalo and Jamestown to find out. He joins us now to tell us what he found. Ben, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. So when you traveled to Buffalo, what did you find? Well, Buffalo is not uh, despite its enormous population loss and loss of industrial jobs uh, in the last half century, is not as badly off as uh, some of the other Rust Belt cities. Uh, I've been to Detroit and reported from there as well. Detroit definitely feels much more abandoned mm -hmm. um, and is objectively doing worse. Um, Buffalo is a mix of, you know, rundown areas um, and, uh, and some, you know, s little shoots of uh, regrowth. Um, it's starting to experience some gentrification in some of the more desirable neighborhoods, which have beautiful Victorian homes that are incredibly cheap compared to downstate. Ah, that's one of the things about upstate New York that's so shockingly beautiful is amazing Victorian homes. Uh, but for people who might not be as familiar with the Western New York, when you say population loss, give us an idea of what that means. Unpack that a little. Sure. Buffalo has lost half its population from its peak in the decennial census of 1950, when mm -hmm. it was 580,000, uh, now it's like 260. Uh, that is uh, similar to what you see in a lot of uh, Rust Belt cities, Cleveland, um, St. Louis, and Detroit. Uh, might be doing a little bit worse even, but it's in that, it's in that Baltimore, it's in that category. Um, so that's a very different story than some of the coastal cities like New York or Boston that lost maybe at most a quarter or a third of their population and have been significantly regaining it in the last few decades. Um, Buffalo is just turning the corner in terms of getting some, uh, it, it really suffered from suburban sprawl and uh, it's getting some uh, younger people returning to the inner city. Millennial uh, population is up, um, but it still has a shrinking labor force mm -hmm. from decades of out migration. All right, well, speaking of recovery, one of the reasons why Buffalo is so big in discussions around New York State is, of course, the governor's Buffalo Billions, that all of this money was invested into the city, into this region, and is it fair to say, when can we say that the state has gotten a proper return on that huge investment? So this is a big problem that uh, I think the state government needs to solve um, through legislation. The state spends a lot of money on economic development and it doesn't have a good means of tracking whether the money produced the desired result. Mm -hmm. There's, you can't go to a table and look it up the way you can labor statistics on the State Department of Labor website. So it's very hard for experts, I interviewed uh, experts from all the leading think tanks and research organizations here, and they said it's, we really can't say with certainty because we don't have the data we would need to assess both whether jobs, not just whether jobs grew, but whether it was causal. Hmm. Um, it's hard to say, Buffalo said modest job growth. Is that because of the Buffalo Billion? We, or is it just because the national economy is recovering and certain cheaper regions with architecture that's beautiful are attracting some growth? You know, hard to say. What anecdotally, people tend to think, experts tend to think, and my reporting was consistent with this, is that when you, so you have to break the Buffalo Billion into different projects. Projects where they handed out a bunch of money to a corporation like say IBM mm -hmm. to put an office in downtown Buffalo uh, where they thought they were gonna get really high paying tech jobs, they're actually call center help jobs. So tech as in IT support, so they're, they're not paying as much. Um, they're not necessarily living up to their hopes or getting a very good return on investment because you can measure the number of jobs and the money invested. Um, although you still don't know would IBM have gone there without the subsidy in some cases. In this in case, probably not, but you don't always know. However, some of the things the Buffalo Billion is doing are much more cost effective. I went to a startup incubator where uh, they give a million dollar uh, state grant to five to seven uh, startups that can be in virtually any industry, uh, and they apply from all across the country. They move to Buffalo. They have a few employees. Hopefully some of them grow. They catch on, attract additional investment. They've dramatically increased the amount of uh, private equity investment coming into the Western New York region. Um, the number of jobs produced, 422 total, 
not a huge number. Um, so, but you're but you're talking about something that might generate that builds the conditions for potentially really strong long-term growth, creates the potential for the next Google or even just the next like New Balance sneaker company or something to locate in Buffalo and then grow. So decades from now, we may look back at that program and say that program was enormously successful. Um, so those are more the kinds of programs that seem to be generating good return on investment or at least the potential for it. Subsidies to specific companies, not as much. All right, well, that sounds like uh, the kind of thinking that perhaps needs to go into government more, less of the immediate return and more of the long-term plan. Listen, Ben, I want to thank you so much for your reporting. Thank you very much for taking the trip up to Buffalo. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that definitely helps us all get a better sense of where all of this state funding is going, especially for parts of upstate and western New York. So thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Absolutely.